Hey, it's Joe from JoeColantonio.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to run a Selenium test in Sauce Labs in four simple steps. Check it out. So the first step you want to do is just navigate to Sauce Labs. Then sign in. So when you first log in, click on the Getting Started button. And then you have three different options. You have an automated, mobile, or manual. So I want to write a automated test using Selenium and Java. So I'm going to select automated. Now Sauce Labs has really good documentation. They walk you step by step on what to do. But I thought it'd be fun to try it myself and actually modify their sample just to show you how easy it is. So the first thing you want to do is choose your language. So I'm using Java, so I'm going to select Java, and I'm using Maven. So to get started to make it as easy as possible, you can actually use a sample project that Selenium provides for you. So because I'm using Maven, all I need to do is copy this Maven command. Then I'm going to go to my command prompt. Once I navigate to the directory where I want to save the sample project to, I'm just going to do a paste. All right, so I'm going to click on Enter. So once you run that Maven command, it's just going to create a simple Sauce Lab sample project on your local hard drive. Okay, now I'm just going to import the Sauce Labs sample project. So I'm going to go to Maven, Existing Maven Projects. I'm just going to navigate to the directory where I saved that to. So now I'm just going to expand the project and navigate to and navigate to my sample sauce test.java file. So this is going to contain everything you need to get started with Sauce Labs, documented really well on what each line of code is doing. And it also contains your user specific information for authentication. So it'll include your name and uh, your authentication key. It also specifies the environments that you want to run your test against. So out of the box in the sample, it's going to run any tests that you run or add to this project against both Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 8.11, and also it's going to run against a Mac system with Safari. So they include one test that goes to Amazon and just does an assertion to verify the title. So what I want to do is I'm just going to add some of my own tests that go against my sample application and then run it. And then we'll see what that looks like within Sauce Labs Cloud. So what I want to do is I want to modify that Sauce Labs sample project to create a few tests that go against my Selenium WebDriver validation test page. And all I'm going to do is select this dropdown for Java. And I'm just going to verify that the value enabled exists. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to close this. First thing I'm going to do is go to the setup method, and I'm just going to add my driver.get where I navigate to my sample web page. I'm going to delete their test, and I'm going to create my first test, which all it does is it first navigates, and once it navigates, the first test is just going to verify that the title that appears in the browser equals Selenium Web Driver Validation. So in my second test, I'm just going to select that Java value from the dropdown. Then I'm going to grab the value that's in the answer field. And I'm just going to assert that that value equals enabled. And now I'm just going to run this as is. So to run it, all you need to do is right click on your source project and select Maven test. Awesome. All the tests passed. No errors. So now let's look at the results within Sauce Labs. So when you log back into Sauce Labs, it keeps a running log of all the tests and the results of your test. So I'm just going to go to the latest results that I just ran. So if you click on the session. So now there's a bunch of things that you can look at to help you see how your test ran and what the results were. So the first piece is under commands. What's really cool, it actually every step that you perform within Selenium, it keeps some performance, high level performance counters for you, how long each step took. And if you click on each of these steps, the right hand screenshot will change based on what was performed within that step. 
It also, which is kind of neat, is it takes a video of your test. So you can run the test and see actually how your test ran. That's pretty cool. You can look at your Selenium log. And you can also look at the metadata. The metadata is basically just all the different parameters you use to run your test. Source Labs supports over 485 combinations. What I love about the Source Labs is it saves me a, a bunch of time and allows me just to focus on test automation rather than making me have to worry about setting up all these different environments, keeping the browsers installed, making sure the browsers aren't automatically updating, make sure and I have an IE machine for each of the different IE browsers that I support. I have to go through a CI group that then I have to get their blessing and then I need their help in order to set things up. With Sauce Labs, all I need to do is tell it what I want to run it against and then run my test and they automatically handle everything for you behind the scenes. And then you can go into Sauce Labs and look at all the results with the videos, with the logging. It just helps troubleshooting. It helps a whole bunch of things and just makes my life a whole lot easier. And that's how easy it is to get started with Sauce Labs. Hope it helps.